Hey everyone, I'm Paul. And this is Thrift Store Scores. Uh, it's been a long day. Took my uh, kid to preschool and did some thrifting this morning. It's a pretty long morning. You know, spent the day in the hangout and uh, encourage anybody that's just getting into this stuff, has a lot of questions, to come on in and, you know, you gotta put up with Adam Walker. But other than that, you're good. Uh, <laughs> Shout out to Adam, but uh, yeah, it's a good experience and learn a lot of stuff from, get a lot of questions answered right away, a lot of knowledgeable people in those hangouts, but I did all my listings this morning, got done with that, got everything packed and shipped, took my kid to preschool and hit the thrift store. There's a really good thrift store right by your house. Uh, my dad lives in that area actually and well he owns a house in that area and I'm there quite a bit and I've never seen a garage sale there. Those people, I mean when they heard that there was a thrift store opening up, they weren't like yay we have a place to shop, they were like yay we have a place to get rid of our stuff. So that's the nature of this place. It's a very good high-end thrift store and they don't spend I mean, it's not real pricey. You're gonna have to see uh, some of the stuff I got. This place. Trying to stay away from men's clothes as much as possible because I have too much stuff to list right now. But I couldn't pass on this. It was a Ralph Lauren Polo, 3XLT, uh, 5.99. I mean, this is minimum $60 jacket. Probably get more than that. I don't know. Maybe I'll get a little less than that, but I'm thinking 60 is the number. But, uh, you know, no tears, stains, rips, very good condition. I also got, uh, this is kind of for me. I'm into martial arts big time. It was a dollar. Bruce Lee is the shit. And, uh, probably just go ahead and keep that but I don't know if I sell it it's a t-shirt and any well-known graphic t-shirt you can get at least you know, 10 bucks for it. Uh, Halloween's coming up I snagged this guy it's a spider-man web slinger it was $3.99 there isn't one listed on Amazon this one's sealed maybe I'll go ahead and send it to Amazon but I'll I'll probably try it on eBay, and uh, there are a bunch of them on eBay right now for about 30 bucks. So you know, maybe I could try Amazon too. Maybe there's somebody out there that's like, oh, it's selling on eBay for 30 bucks. Maybe I'll go on Amazon and pay 40. You know, that's what you hear, right? That's the <laughs> that's what everybody talks about when they start talking about Amazon. But I I don't know. There, like I said, there's nothing on Amazon right now, so I'll probably just post it on eBay. I got this guy. It's a water clock, a little scientific experiment type thing. $5.99. It's like 20 or 25 bucks, something like that. Factory sealed. Uh, box is in good shape, everything. So I'll probably, well, I will. I'll just go ahead and send this to Amazon and forget about it. Another FBA item. Disney seen it, scanned this, and was very happy to find out that it's about $110 on Amazon. Paid $5.99. I would call that a score. That's probably the score of the day, actually. Um, let's see. Ooh, this guy. Pac-Man telephone. <laughs> this thing is awesome. You know, just old push-button phone. It's kind of worn out, you know, you can barely see the old number that was written in the spot where people used to write their own phone numbers on their phone, uh, the wires in good enough shape, whatever, but, you know, this thing is just awesome, and I'm assuming it works, I hope it does, because I don't have a phone line, and, I mean, I'll, even as is, untested, these things, just phones are pretty bulletproof, so I'm thinking I'll get at least... 40 or 50 bucks for this guy. It's uh, that seems to be the going rate for buying house. Um, 
did pick up some vintage headphones. And I've got a guy, he owns a vintage shop, specializes in sound, you know, like old vintage wood cabinets, uh, stereos, and record players, 8-tracks, you know, stuff like that. And one thing that I forgot to mention that I picked up Saturday on my last score was this guy. Paid $4.50 for it. It's an 8-track wood cabinet. Uh, full intention of taking it to my buddy and unloading it for like 30 bucks. And if I can throw in those headphones and this guy that I picked up today for 69 cents just to make sure that it works, I'm pretty confident that I'll get at least 30 or 40 bucks for it. I decided to put it on eBay. I didn't actually find this model on eBay in the sold listings or the uh, active listings. So, I don't know. I mean, it's hit or miss. I mean, I know it's that probably means that it's worth a lot more, but it probably also means that I have to wait for the right person to come along. And if I can pay five or ten bucks for something and flip it tomorrow for 50 or 40 or 30 and that dude can wants to sit on it for six months until the right person comes along or he knows the right person to call who will come down and pay him a hundred bucks for it on the spot cool I'm good with that maybe someday I'll be that guy but right now just get it out of my house calculators found a little one it's a TI-30X, one dollar, you know, get ten or fifteen bucks shipped for these. But I got this monstrosity, uh, you know, Casio old accounting type calculator, green tag was on sale so I picked it up for five, I'll sell it for forty, maybe thirty at the least. Uh, it's you know, looks like it'll fit in a regional A box. If it doesn't, it'll definitely fit in a medium fly rate box. Either way, I'm making money. After I got done with my... Oh, wait. Actually, I got one more thing that I picked up. These. A pair of ratty-ass tennis shoes, right? Maybe. First of all, they were in my size, so I might keep them. They were 10 bucks, But they were... They're vintage Adidas shoes with the Trey Foil logo. Made out of hemp. I looked them up. There are two sold listings. One of them was at auction. It went for like 50 bucks. The other one was Buy It Now. That went for 125. So I'm thinking minimum 60. And if they don't sell for 40, I'm keeping them. I picked up this guy for four dollars. I love artwork. I pick up artwork a lot. It's so hard to sell on eBay that I don't usually bother. I got a couple of guys that I can call and be like, "Hey, man, is this worth money?" And if you know, they're if they don't seem too interested, then I know that it's probably still worth something. But I haven't made them crap their pants yet so maybe I'm not that good at picking up artwork or that lucky but one of these days I'm gonna have them knocking on my door with a checkbook but it's pretty cool obviously fake aged I mean they did this isn't anything original or whatever but the style is cool the aging is kind of cool I paid four bucks for it I'll probably be able to sell it for Actually, I'm going to take it to my vintage guy tomorrow and hope that he gives me at least a time for it. After I got done over there, I uh, went and picked up my daughter and we went to the thrift store by my house that I try to get into every day. And I'm really regretting not going yesterday because the guy that does all the backroom stuff always talks to me. He was like, yeah, yesterday we got this really awesome box full of Super Nintendo and Nintendo stuff. There was a Nintendo in the box and a Super Nintendo and stacks of games and this dude came in and 
posted it on Facebook and next thing you know we had a bunch of people coming in here just to look at it and I was like oh, okay you're an asshole but <laughs> whatever uh, some of the stuff I picked up over there SciTech joystick this is a flight stick they, these guys, I just sold a SciTech joystick for 70 bucks. This one's a little bit cheaper, but you know it's got the uh, joystick with the throttle and everything, all the controls. It's basically they build flight flight simulator computer controllers, but uh, uses USB. So yeah, that's a good sign when you're looking at computer controllers. You don't really want to mess around with serial stuff unless it's really good high-end stuff but you know when I use the USB port then it's usually easy to find drivers and you know that you can sell it I looked it up it's about 50 bucks um, you know I paid 10 actually I paid 5 because I had a half off coupon for it but uh, it should sell alright they, they kind of sell slow but my idea of slow is you know two months some guys, you know, their idea is slow as six months. If something lasts that long, then I'm donating it most of the time. I also found they had a bunch of these in the toy department. Factory sealed NFL and NBA action figures. I don't know. Uh, I scanned a few of them. They were going, most of them were going for about 10 or 15 bucks. I left those on the rack. Uh, a few of them, though. Like this one, I think this guy was going for like 25 on FBA. So you know, I'll take the label off and put my own UPC on, ship it to you. FBA. Uh, got a Patrick Ewing. This is an older one. A uh, little bit of issue with the case. You can see a little crease in the cardboard there, and I think the plastic separating a little bit. But he was going for 40 bucks on FBA. Maybe I'll have to put it on eBay because of the cosmetic issues. But I should still get 20 or 25 dollars for it. Paid seven. These guys are all light. Uh, I mean, they'll fit in if worst case scenario regional A boxes. Sega Genesis controllers. The three button ones suck. But if they have six buttons and it says Sega, then it's probably worth picking up. Because most of the time, these are one, two, three dollars at the most. This one was $2.99. And you can sell them for minimum 15 bucks. I mean, I get $16. That's I've got a stock photo for all my six button controllers. This one I'll have to do a separate listing for because it's got the turbo function. But I find six button controllers all the time, and usually I'll find them in, it's, it's weird, you know, I'll find them two or three in a pile, you know, and I'll put them up in lots, and they sell fast, uh, usually within a few days. Got some more of these handhelds. These guys are money, man. I mean, you can pick them up so cheap. I paid, I actually paid eight bucks for this whole bag. But just pushing the buttons, one of them worked. There it is. Yeah, the solitaire game. And if a solitaire game works, it doesn't really matter what brand it is. You're good to go. Uh, I think. But I got a couple of Radica solitaire games, a free cell game. Uh, let's see what else is in here. Yahtzee. Whatever. Uh, probably get 50 bucks for the bag. I'll sell them all separate. Maybe I'll send them to the FBA. FBA. I'm not sure yet. Slim CD cases. I use these to sell disc only games uh, or to ship disc only games. I like these a lot because the center ring and the lid are flush when the lid is closed. So, as long as you've got it in a good padded envelope and the lid can't come open, then the lid's going to stay closed, the CD's going to stay in place, you don't have anything to worry about it's they're gonna get their CD in the you know, year and a half two years or whatever that I've been doing this I've had one person complain about a broken CD case one of these slim 
CD cases being broken. It was $1.50 for 10 of them. When I'm out, I'll go to Big Lots and buy 20 for 5. So if I can get them for less than that, then I'll always pick them up as long as they're always in good shape. You know, you just look at the ends, make sure that a bunch of them aren't broken off or whatever, and you're good to go. But I like looking for ship for shipping materials just as much as I like looking for stuff to sell uh, when I'm out there because there's a lot of stuff that you can pick up, like that craft paper that I snagged for a dollar uh, in that last haul video. That was pretty good score, you know, I mean, it's usually, what, five bucks a roll or whatever, and that roll has probably four times as much paper on it as a typical five dollar roll from Walmart. I also have, I also snagged a bunch of vintage camera stuff, got this old Polaroid, it's probably 20 or 30 bucks, I'm going to send it to my uh, vintage guy, he loves cameras, and then I'll throw it in, with, or I'll throw this in with it, uh, you know, when I bring him a couple of similar things. It's just like lighting stuff up on Amazon or eBay or whatever. I mean, if you've got a sport game on eBay that's worth a buck, then you can't sell it on eBay. But if you've got 20 sports games that are all worth a buck, then you can sell them for $20 shipped and, you know, maybe make 10 bucks. Because you shouldn't pay money for those, but you end up with them no matter what if you buy collections. Same thing with this kind of stuff. Same thing with anything where you're buying big lots. Like I bought this bag of camera parts. It's like flashes and film and like random tools and stuff. Three bucks, all old vintage stuff. I already had this that I paid a dollar or two for or whatever. I paid two bucks for this guy. And you know, when you put everything together, then it looks like more stuff. So I'm guessing I could probably get 20 or $30 from him. Uh, and I'm sure he'll take it. If he doesn't, whatever, I'll put it on eBay. It's the same one. I'll just bundle it all up, put it in a regional A box, and sell it that way. Let's see. That's most of my sales for the day or most of my buys for the day, I mean. But, this is kind of the big ticket item that I picked up. I paid $120 for it, technically. Uh, I do repairs for this guy that owns a local game store. I fix his PS3s, Xboxes, uh, you know, if he gets like a Nintendo or whatever that doesn't work, he, I take it and look at it and I try to get it to work for him. I fix his controllers you know, when he has a stack of them. But he had it on his shelf for 170 bucks. I'm in good with him, I know this guy. Uh, I, you know, we've got a good relationship. He owed me like 150 or so, so he gave me this for 120 and cash for the difference, so. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was a good deal. I'll get $200 for this. It's a Legend of Zelda 3DS XL, limited edition, collector's item, blah, 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 whatever. People buy the crap out of these things, and they're happy to pay <laughs> a good deal when, you know, in the box, it's 300 bucks. But anyway, that was my day. It was long, heartless. This is the third time I've done this video because it keeps screwing up settings, and all that other stuff, but I'm gonna get better at it, and I'm gonna start adding features and doing all kinds of cool stuff, but for now, this is what I have to deal with, and this is what I know how to do, so. Uh, if you have any questions, whatever, feel free, ask away. You can uh, join my group on Facebook, uh, Thrift Store Scores. I encourage you to do that. Otherwise, you know, like, Comment, subscribe, uh, typical fare. Thanks, guys.